the most important band that I love me. Oh, you can just turn off your mic and audio and you can go. Yeah, <laughs> I did that yesterday. <laughs> what did I say to mama? Oh, that's... Oh, no. But what are we going to do today? No idea. <laughs> Where are you? I'm just completing my assessments. What are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Are you going to or something? Yeah, I'm getting my good. Don't tell me that because there's a lot of things to do. Like what? For example, let's just say, Hamdan is going to tell a story and as he pauses in between, I'm going to add my own imagination in it and continue with it and you're going to do the same and it's going to keep on continuing until and unless a person stops in between and though as the moment stops there, he loses the game and the game is over. You understood? Yeah. 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 That's good. So, hey guys! This is Sana. This is Hamda. And Hamda. So, let's go and dive into our imaginations. So, my story is there was a ship sailing for months and months. There were only two people the captain and his friends. There was a snake coming towards the captain's leg <laughs> and the captain is fainted and his friend was like so where will I go, where will I go and he fainted <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the friend fainted, the captain fainted now the ship, there's no one to grab the ship and the ship is going anyhow and that was a bad day for them because there was a <laughs> drop and high wind, hail, everything, so the ship was almost going submerged into the sea. But anyhow, it landed to Africa. Africa! Oh and it was, it was, it was evening time there. And on the island, they see few tribal people ju just like jumping and running and dancing <laughs> around the fire with Huda Huda <laughs> And then as the as they come on the ship, the people see them and then they see someone new, like they have a different oh, no. dressing sense and they have a different dressing sense. So they feel awkward and then the tribal people took them and they took away their clothes, they tied them in the
fuck. They were burning on fire, you remember? Yeah. And then when they were burning on fire, as the strider people came back, seeing them, they are not there, going finding them inside the jungle, they came and started banging the door. Don't talk to them. And they were telling something in their own tribal language, <laughs> which was not understandable, and they opened the door. They again fell into trouble. And <laughs> then they again took them and they kept them on fire so they were not mean. Yes! 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 Yes!